Hello again there YouTube. Uh, today we are playing Undertale again. Where we last left off, we actually met up with Sansa Papyrus the Skeleton and are currently trying to undergo their challenges. And I'm not gonna lie, they're rather charming and Papyrus is quite relatable so far. Warning, dog marriage. What does that even mean? Hello there, random idiot. You were checking Undertale tab and you found my stream. I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? Yes, I'm indeed recording for YouTube. I skip up here. Jerry came too. So the only thing we can do with Jerry is just ditch him? You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Snow? No, it's a hat residue. Alright, so I'm supposed to ignore him? You managed to tear your eyes away from the ice cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Ice cap secretly checking to see if you're looking at the tat. You continue not looking at ice cap's hat. It seems defeated. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that was close. All right, so click the sign again. Yes, you read that correctly. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Okay, so it's... Ah, okay. About right here? Oh, here we are. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Those two dogs are married. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Oh, that was quick. Hmm, here's the weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Oh. Eliminate you! Doggy assault you. Uh. Pet? The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Pause off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? Oh, Christ. Uh, maybe you roll around? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two nuzzle champs, 98. Of course we were second. The dog may want to resmell you. Hello there, Amorax. How are you doing today? The dog sniff you again. After rolling around in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like? Are you actually a little puppy? Ah. Uh. You cannot give up just yet. Jesus, stay determined. All right. There's a switch hidden in this note. Click. Why do I have almost no stream element commands? I'm still learning how to use stream element.
Get the little cool boom 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 boom. boom. Okay. All right, so they need to roll around. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife, please. Okay, so that's how I do that. The dog sniff you again, rolling around the dirt. You smell all right. Pet dog Aresta. What about me? A dog that hits dogs? Amazing! You pet dog me. Well, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Yeah, they're both ready to be spared. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has been opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Oh, okay, so it's just a touch thing. to avoid my trap and more importantly is there any left for me what do you tell papyrus about his spaghetti i want to tell him i ate it just so that he feels good but if i say i left it he probably just might go over there and try to eat it himself oh the moral quandary that is humanity i ate it really Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you the best pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy like me taking after him. <laughs> Human, hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to make it look like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. But we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answers. Alright, let's see here. Huh. I think I think I think I see it. No. All right, I think I see it now. Wow, you solved it! And you did all without my help! Incredible, I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! Might even be too easy for you!
Uh, you've been working on your model? I look forward to seeing it when it debuts. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. The purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. But this is a lot of rules here to try to remember. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Uh... Alright, so, red means I can't go through it, yellow is electrical, water is, sorry, blue is water, and if I smell like oranges while I go on the blue, piranhas are going to bite me. If I go on the purple, I'm going to slide across, and I'm going to smell like lemons. And if I smell like lemons, the piranhas will not bite me. Alright, I think I got it. Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it'll make a puzzle. That has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> get ready. RNG, be upon my side and make this an easy puzzle. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Is that supposed to happen, or did I actually get lucky and that happened? Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even be able to make something edible. This dog is staring blankly at the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. It'll come back, okay. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians. Aware of dog, please pet dog. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. The dog considers itself an artist, but he doesn't even know how to, what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Oh, don't be rude, he's doing his best. Oh. Alright, let's see here. This is some sort of puzzle, so... Okay, I think I got this one. Gotta start up here, go up. Nope. Oh, wait, hold on. These transform into, like... Oh, no, they only go circle, X, and triangle. They don't actually go the full PlayStation there. That may be a desync. You are filled with something, but it's not determination. It's delicious Mexican pizza. Oh, he even had a little snow on top of his head. That was kind of cute. What's up? I'm sorry, what? Gift truck confronts you. Uh... Gift it? Gift truck refuses your gift. 
How do I know it's not a trick? It sands don't question him. I gotta question him when this sort of thing happens. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Remove the barbed wire made from pine cleaners. That's a little better. Slightly less irritated. So, do I just undecorate it one more time? The lentic chair bookmark of a smug keen winking. The weight's been lifted. Oh, that face kind of looks a little scary. Say, are you following me? What's in here? It's a door. N nothing. I thought that was going to be some sort of like secret code. What's up? I swear, Sans just might actually be brothers and nobody's even told anyone else. A snow puff. And this is a snow puff. And this, however, is a snow puff. Aww, such a cute little doggy. It's a big doggy. I love the boss music here. It's, it's just silly. Greater dog. Pet it. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Aww. All right, let's play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play. Second? You call the greater dog. It bounced towards you, flecking slobber onto your face. Greater dog is seeking attention. Play! Oh, it's not excited enough to play? Alright, so ignore. The greater dog inches closer. Oh, hello there, Freeink. How are you doing today? Whoa! I did not expect it to start barking. It cannot end now. Jesus, stay determined. Yeah, Mats, can we get a uh, shout out here for Freeink? I'm hanging in there. I'm actually enjoying this game. Although it does make me nervous when something said might actually happen because uh, my manager told me that depending on how I play, it's either going to be fun or sad. All right, so now that that's all set up there, I can go ahead and try and save that again so I don't have to redo it. Oh, I still gotta redo it.
Alrighty then, let's see if we can get this one now. All right, so first things we were supposed to do is thicken it. Bounce towards you, fucking slobber at your face. And then after that, we ignore it. Inches closer. And now that it wants affection, we can pet it. Curls up in your lap as it pets as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Alright, so now I can play with it. You make a throw ball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, staying still there. Going to be all right. Jesus, stay determined. Neo Chomic, how are you doing today? So right now we're trying to pass by this big dog. And he is a big boy. Alright, so second first. All right, next we try... What happened to the nice screen? Oh, there we are, nice screen. Love yourself, I love you, your HP is maxed out. Dog is seeking attention, so we ignore it. It inches closer. Wait, there are different paths? I've just been playing the way I thought I was supposed to I was supposed to be playing it. Alright, paying the ground in front of its paws, so we play. All right, want some TLC. All right. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity at 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. All right, so pacifist is don't kill, genocide is kill all, and neutral is kill some, but not all. Ooh, that was a bit of a tough boss fight. Well, he's just a regular dog piloting a suit. I love that. And now he's steering with his rear end sticking out the top. Oh, it's so adorable. Huh. That's some nice pixel art there. Ah, oh, Battle on the Bridge. Now, doesn't this just say... Anime-esque? Cumin, this is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Hey, the dog! 
When I say the word, it will fully activate. Turn into a fire, spikes will sing, blades will slice. Each part will sing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh... That doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very... Fair. And the traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no curse at all. Away it goes. Phew. Oh yeah, the flame animation was pretty good there. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Ha. Ha. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. That's right, professionals have standards. Ah, hello there, I can try and sell some of my stuff. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a j you know, that's very logical. A yeah, bicycle wouldn't be all that bad. Get to use it twice and heal. Alright, so that increases the damage. Ah, a manly bandana for defense. Yeah, I honestly was not expecting that green. Let's say hello. Ah, yeah, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? It can be used twice to heal 11 HP per use. Exactly. I want to ride my bicycle. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Hello there, Marcus Wellner. How are you doing today? Grillbees has food and the library has information. And if you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door to my sister. Oh, it's right next door and my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. A thing back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to move, leave the ruins and head to the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided that they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Okay. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all we all know the deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we don't give up hope, we can grit our teeth and face the faint and struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Well, that's a very nice outlook to have on life. Bye now, come again sometime. Alright, let's equip this manly bandana here. Exactly, I did go through that door earlier. That's why I was a little surprised by that. All right, so we are going to actually end this episode here today, everyone. I want to thank everyone here for coming by and watching. If you want to see these streams live in person, all you got to do is just go to my Twitch, twitch.tv rngesusvtuber. In the meantime, guys, leave a subscription here on YouTube, leave a thumbs up or a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Be safe and be awesome, everyone.